Welcome to another pick a card reading. As mentioned in the title, this one covers what your soulmate looks like. Um, this one is only going to cover their physical appearance, their physical traits, nothing more. So as always, you have four piles to choose from. This is pile one, this is pile two, this is pile three, and this is pile four. And if you like to choose with stones, then for pile one, we have this bluish green stone that I use often and it's my favorite one of my favorites the second stone is this creamy yellowish one that i've also used many times the third stone is this lovely orange one that focused mm -hmm. and the fourth stone is this amber yellowish one so as always, take as long as you like to choose your pile and once you've selected, you can scroll down into the description and click on the timestamp that corresponds to your stone and it will take you directly to your reading. And I'll get started with pile 1. Right, so if you guys chose the first stone or this bluish green one, then this is going to be your reading. Um, we're going to start out with the tarot cards to get an idea of their physical appearance and then we're going to dig deeper with your oracle cards and then just finish it up with uh, my famous homemade chits just to get any extra details about their appearance so we have three of wands we have the king of pentacles we have the page of swords and we have the magician okay so um with the three of wands especially like the imagery in this card i feel like maybe this person um the first thing that's coming to my mind is that they have they've been exposed to outdoors a lot um maybe they travel a lot so um there's a good possibility that they may have like tan skin or um because they travel a lot, they'll have a very um, healthy build kind of a thing, you know, um, to have that endurance to be able to travel. But more than anything, seeing how they're exploring the world and they're looking out at what lies ahead, I feel like this is somebody who has been out a lot. Um, maybe they've even experienced a lot, you know, so... Um, I feel like maybe this person may have like this glow or a tan or something. Or like maybe they are from like a different nationality than you. So like the there may be a difference in your skin tones. This could also like be like um this could be like an Indian or this could be like a, a biracial person or it could be like maybe even I think even Latin like Latinas have a goldenish skin tone so they could be that or they could just be tanned you know um fair but tanned i get tanned really easily so but i also feel like the way they are looking at the vast world that lies ahead i feel like they have journeyed a lot even in life so they may have a little bit of an appearance where they're slightly tired it's like sometimes you may catch them looking tired or something or maybe they're just like wise i also get that because of the king of pentacles like maybe they've experienced a lot so they have like this wisdom so they may have like very wise looking eyes or have like you know maybe few lines on their face or something that talks about like they've been through something or like you know how old people like like not old people but like somebody who's very wise somebody who's been through a lot like they have sometimes you can just look at their face and it can tell so that's what i feel but also maybe it's not like they've necessarily have been through a lot but perhaps because like they've traveled a lot they have a lot to say and they've experienced a lot or they've had a lot of experiences so i feel like their face or their appearance will have a certain personality to it that maybe people who have not traveled or seen so much in life do not have you know like maybe if you just when meeting no but that would go into their personality but anyway since i've started it i might as well say it like supposing you meet them or like you're in a group discussion them 
with them and like other people and somebody mentions like a country and they just know a lot about it because they've been there so it's like their face lightens up when they talk about things they know so that could be something that is specific to them moving on to the ten of pentic the king of pentacles uh this makes me think like maybe this is somebody who is very uh put together like they are very like maybe they are well dressed or they take a lot of effort in the way in their appearance so even if like they are tired looking or something if this is like a woman um she will make sure to like do up her hair or like make her eyes look good or something and not just that but like even like the clothes they wear and they have it all proper so like these are the kind of people who have like specific clothes for office specific clothes for gym specific night clothes like we don't just wear our home clothes at night like sometimes i do so like they have very specific things specific clothes for like hanging out with friends specific clothes to like go for parties or for meetings or for work meets so like they have everything sorted and proper and when when it's like time to attend that occasion they are very put together like they have it very proper also the king of pentacles makes me think that uh this is somebody who's very dedicated and very disciplined and has worked hard to create something so if this is a man i feel like i got this and both the things like they'll have a very well formed upper body like maybe they exercise a lot so like they would be in like really good shape so yeah also with the hair and the beard i it gives me the feeling like maybe they take good care of like their hair and maybe some of them have beards but like they have long luscious hair or like even if it's a guy and they have short hair it's like thick and proper and well maintained and stuff if it's a girl then it just long and luscious and thick and proper but like yeah like i said before they are very they look or they put in a lot of effort in their appearance so like they take care of their skin they have like proper clothes or even if they have few clothes the way they mix and match and the way they make their appearance look is very good and yeah they if it's a woman then i feel like this person works out so she will have a well built body and stuff because she takes that effort to exercise also with this like maybe like if it's a woman or a man this could apply to both maybe they go out for long jogs and runs outside because they like being outside hence the tan but also maybe they like to work out outdoors and stuff so there is that with the page of swords i get the feeling like this is somebody who has a very airiness about them so um by airy i mean also i feel like they 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 have a lightness to their weight um like they are not heavy steppers or like they don't make a lot of noise when they walk like they could like come and quietly and stand behind you and you won't even know it like i think they are just light in their gait and in the way they move and they walk or like just the way they move so i feel like a seamlessness in like their movement and maybe they develop that because they've traveled so much so they know how to like travel light or like just not just pack light but even like the way they conduct their body and the way they move it's light also because of the swords i get the feeling like this could be somebody who has very um developed features like maybe they have like sharp eyes like maybe cat eyes or like they have well formed lips or something or they have like a sharp out nose so maybe they have like these chisel type of features to a certain extent also like this person has tied a plait so if it's like a man or a woman um maybe they believe in tying plaits mhm mm but i definitely feel like they have long luscious hair hair if it's like either side but that's what i get from this card and then with the magician the magician gives me the idea that this is somebody who can uh, i have two interpretations for this and i think both can apply so um with the magician i feel like this is somebody who you know has a little bit of a magical appearance like maybe to them or like from where they come from they are just like one in like all of them but to you they have a magical kind of appearance like for example like i said this person could be of a different nationality mhm mm and like 
you know they have like this magical appearance like for example supposing you live like in minnesota or something where it's like cold and sunlight is not a lot so people are usually fair and pale or something but like this person is like dark skinned so they stand out uh -huh. but maybe like they come from like brazil or something and there like everybody shares a similar skin tone but for you it stands out so like that's what it feels like to you like they have a magical appearance also this could mean like because of the magician they can they are good at like changing their appearance so like they are good at like putting makeup or like styling their hair and they can appear like a whole new not a whole new but like it accentuates how they already look and like like for example like i don't want to be rude or like mock anybody but many times i see these actresses without makeup and they look very ordinary but the minute makeup is put they're so transformed you know so in 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 this case like maybe they transform once they like do that magic on them they put makeup or they change their hair or they color their hair or something or just maybe they dress up to the nines and so they look really good but besides but i do have to say that even if like they don't have to do this magicalness to make themselves look good to you they'll have a magical appearance like they'll have a magical aspect to their appearance mm -hmm. that's what i get from you if anything more comes i will mention it but basically yeah also um i have to say that we have like three cards where like there are males so this person is very in touch with their masculine side if this is a guy then they are very masculine in the way they do it if it's a girl there is a possibility that this girl may appear more masculine like maybe she's a bit of a tomboy but it's just specific to few few it's not necessary because i do see a little bit of feminine feminine i do see the feminine side so even if it's a man um they will still be in touch even with their divine feminine and if it's a woman if it's a woman even she will remember that so they do have that softness to them so if it's a guy they will have like soulful eyes or something i already mentioned that with the you know they experience but they will be very much in touch with their divine feminine but i think that goes more towards their personality so just saying it anyway um now we'll get some more insight by looking at the oracle cards so we have let me just move these a little bit so there's space for these so in terms of the oracle cards we have a parrot spirit watch your words although i'm not taking that then we have nasturium and we have emotions are running high okay let me just move these so these cards come in the screen properly instead of getting cut at the bottom okay i'm so glad it's not raining right now anyway so um with parrot spirit uh the first thing that comes to my mind is that uh something they are colorful like maybe when they dress up they like to wear color also i see a lot of red this is red this is red and everybody is wearing something red so maybe this person is very fond of the color red like maybe when you meet them they would be wearing red maybe if it's a woman she likes to wear red lipstick or red nail polish if it's a man maybe he has a red car or maybe um he's wearing a red sweater or something but red i think appears to be an important color in this person's appearance or in this person's choices when it comes to their physical appearance uh anyway coming back to the parrot spirit besides having a colorful uh exterior of them or like liking to wear a lot of color i also feel like par uh, this parrot is like a parakeet and parakeets are exotic species so like i said to you they may appear like a very exotic person also parakeets i think originate 
like they are found in the tropical re regions which is like the amazon rainforest or something but like that also confirms like you know maybe they are little tanned or maybe they are outdoorsy which is why they are tanned so uh, well developed body because they exercise a lot outside or they do a lot of activities outside hence the well formed body upper body especially and the tan but yeah that also makes me think like maybe um for some of you they could be like latin american or brazilian i think that is latin american mexican i think all of that falls under latin america but uh they could also be indian or they could just have dark skin or they could be like biracial so there is that uh when it comes to nasturium i'm going to just read the message from the book because the book explains it better and maybe we can get some more insight on like where they are from or like just basically more insight on like what this person looks like so nasturium the entire nasturium plant is edible including its flowers leaves and seeds the name translates from latin phrase nos twister a reference to the plant's pungent peppery taste There are several stories that explain why nasturium is associated with victory. Linnaeus named the plant Trapolium because he thought the helmet-shaped flowers resembled the trophies of battlefield victory. Also, the first Europeans to discover nasturiums in Mexico and South America were conquistadors. Thus, the plant came to symbolize conquest. So, what did I tell you? Your it was found in Mexico and South America. So. this person could definitely have latin features or like latin skin also um the fact that you know they it's an edible plant makes me think of like yum so like when you see them you're like oh my god that person looks so yum maybe because of like their their chocolatey skin tone you know they have a sweetness to them uh so there is that but and also the battlefield victory so i definitely feel like maybe this person has just explored or seen a lot in life so maybe somewhere they even have like scars or something of that on their body if they were in war or they just you know they didn't have the best childhood or something or maybe like they had an accident or something it may appear in their body and now looking at the last card which is emotions are running high this basically just tells me that this person could have a very emotional side so like i said before you know because they have experienced a lot in life or they seen a lot in life it will definitely manifest or show somewhere so i would i don't know but i feel like maybe it would show on their face and in their eyes like some people have like these like you know sometimes they have like these lines on their face and it's not ugly it just it talks about experience maybe they look a little stressed or something but it will appear but i definitely feel like you know with the swords and everything i feel like they have very soulful looking eyes that's the feeling i get and now for the last part we're going to just leave this uh reading with few of these chits just to get an idea of like few details about their physical appearance so we have wheatish complexion it fell first Oh, uh, where should I put these? I'm gonna just put these over. Oh, there are two. Okay, we have wheatish complexion. Ah, uh, we have glasses. Okay. We have older, which makes sense because like this person could be older than you, which makes me think of like the King of Pentacles. so very wise also like i said before and we have piercing stare so like i said very prominent eyes or like prominent features or prominent lips or something and just a few more oh wow we have sexy back which goes like basically with this photo because you can see this guy is back such so a women they have like a nice slender then we have heart shaped face which is kind of specific
we also got olive skin which is funny but we got it so we have thick hair when it fell so i'm going to just pick it up as always we have sleek hair so thick and sleek hair many of these okay i'm going to just pull one more to like round it off Okay. We have full lips. So, yep. That is everything I have for you pile 1 about what your soulmate, your future soulmate is going to look like if it did resonate with you. So, yeah, that is everything I have for you pile 1. I hope it resonated with you. I hope it made sense to you. I hope it gave you some clarity of what your soulmate is going to look like down the line. And if it did do any of the if it did do any of the above then please do consider giving this video a thumbs up. Um sharing it with those who you think it may help. Uh commenting with what resonated what didn't in case you have met your soulmate and this did resonate and finally subscribe to my channel because that would really help me. and i'll see you in my next video bye bye hi ah, if you guys chose the second stone or this creamy white and yellow stone then this is going to be your reading of what your soulmate looks like we're going to start out with the tarot cards to get an idea of their appearance then we're going to look at these oracle cards to get more specific messages and then we're going to end the reading with my famous homemade chits just to get few extra details about their appearance so first one is the page of cups the second one is the 9 of swords okay the third one is 8 of pentacles and the last one is the hermit okay so um with the This actually is giving me a very good mix of like feminine and masculine energy. So this person, I'm gonna say say straight off, is very well in connect connection with like both their feminine and masculine sides. Um, this person has a balance of both. I can say, um, with the page of cups, I feel like this person has an innocence about them, like in their appearance. Like maybe they have like. round do innocent looking eyes um with the page of cups they also have like this curiosity to them so like maybe they are always like their eyes have like this curiousness to them um also they may appear like you know a little younger than their age so they may have like a younger appearance to them um i also feel like with the way this is turning out like they are somebody who likes to you know um dress um i don't want to say like a child but like they have child like sensibilities when it comes to dressing up to a certain extent you know like maybe they like wearing frills and stuff when they can or like long dresses or something when they can but yeah um but definitely they have an innocence to them they have these big innocent looking eyes i feel like that's something that is prominent um also i see like wavy hair everywhere so like they may have like this really lovely wavy hair to them but yeah they have like a curious look to them somebody who's always looking to learn looking to improve and it shows on the face like you know somebody who's content was is somebody who's always eager to learn so i'm um, i know i'm stepping a little outside the i'm stepping outside what i decided to do this reading for so they may be a little bit of people pleasers also but that goes more into their personality side of things moving on to the 9 of swords i feel like this person 
um, given their innocent wide eyes, I feel like they also have, um, they also, like the nine of swords is somebody who doesn't sleep well at night. They appear a little stressed out. Um, they may have dark circles or they may have like bags under their eyes to a certain extent and like coupled with the eight of pentacles this is somebody who works very hard and maybe they don't have like sufficient time to rest or something or maybe you know they just are big heavy thinkers so like they are always lost in thought or they're always thinking or they're always looking to like solve problems or something so they may have a little bit of an exhausted appearance to them like they may appear like somebody who's tired or a little bit overworked or something but um they do take the effort to like look put together they do take an effort in like looking good um they also have a very groundedness about them you know so even if like you know they are very beautiful or something they don't have like that pride or they don't have like that snobby look about them like oh my god i'm so beautiful i'm like beyond your league and stuff they are very grounded in the way they conduct themselves in the way they look or in the way they like you know dress up and go out and stuff but yeah they have a very hard working nature so this could also be somebody who's a little bit lean you know um this is somebody who's like a little slender and lean so if it's like a guy they may not have a lot of muscle or like they may have muscle but they are not like very broad shouldered or like very like heavy on top or something they have a lean body like you know um so actors that come to my mind are like timothy chalamet or andrew garfield like they are not very big and bulky right andrew garfield is no tom hardy so basically like that so and if it's a girl, she's just lean and slender. Maybe she's a little bit petite as well, like short and like appearing like they have because they have like this innocence, they may up, they may look younger than their actual age. Uh-huh. But um, don't get me wrong, despite that, despite having those innocent, curious looking eyes with the eight of pentacles and the hermit combined this person will be much more mature than you expected them to be because the hermit is somebody who is like very wise very mature somebody who goes inwards so um this person also may have like a little bit of a reservedness to them but more than that what is coming to my mind with the hermit is like you know um low-key beautiful like they are not very, they are not very showy of their beauty or very showy of like what they have. So even if like they are doing well or they are happy or like you know they've won a prize or something or like they are feeling good about themselves today, they keep it inside. You know they have a very low key beauty about them. It's not like all over the place, you know. And for some people, this kind of beauty is something that. Maybe when you look at them the first time, it's not as apparent. But if you meet them a couple of times, it builds up, you know. And like in your third meeting or second meeting or fourth meeting, you'll be like, you know, actually she has really beautiful features or like he has really nice eyes or something and it will come up. And they have a very good balance in their masculine and feminine. So they know how to balance it out very well. Also with the hermit, this gives me the feeling like maybe this is somebody who likes to wear white also a lot and like like long dresses like I said before. If it's a female, she may like to wear like long gowns and stuff, wear white. I also get the feeling like these people could be simple dressers, although they do take a lot of effort. Um, I feel like for them, it's not like, you know, I have to have like, 10 layers of clothes in order to look stylish I can just wear like fewer things or like just wear two three things and still look pretty good the way I carry myself mm -hmm. so maybe because like they are smaller or they look younger and they are aware of it they try to dress up more adult or they try to dress up more um, in a way that stands out but also it's like it's like for example like this is a lame example but um, 
when I go out with my friends, everybody has like they all wear these jeans. Most of them like the girls or guys my age have like these torn jeans and then they have these cool t-shirts on top or like these tops with frills and all of that and then they'll have like boots and they'll have necklaces then they'll have like earrings and then they'll have the bag and all of that and don't get me wrong I used to dress up exactly like that sometime back but now it's like because I've become older and because I have like created this capsule kind of wardrobe I just feel like being comfortable so for me it's like wearing fewer things so like when I have to go out for a walk or if I have to go out to shoot in nature or something, I'll just wear like my jeans, my sweater if it's cold, my loafers and I'll just go out and even though it's so simple, this one time we called this lady over and she's like, simple suits you so well, like simple looks so good on you and she's like, this outfit go out and take a picture with it because it's actually so smart. So it's like the simplicity is refreshing. It has a refreshingness to them because like everybody else of their age or in their uh, community or people of like the same level choose to dress up in a very different way but whereas they like to keep it simple and their simplicity makes them stand out. But don't get me wrong even in being simple they do take that effort. This also makes me think like maybe you know they work out a lot or maybe they take care of their skin. Or like you know they just take care of like their health maybe they eat healthy but yeah but they do have like a little bit of a tired appearance like maybe they don't sleep the best maybe they have dark circles so yeah that is something I wanted to bring up is there anything else with the hermit and his beard if it's a guy this person may have a prominent beard but yeah their hair is gonna be very prominent because I see wavy hair for everybody so this person will have like wavy hair if it's a if it's a girl or a boy but if it's a girl maybe the hair will be longer mm -hmm. but yeah these people like to keep it simple and although they are younger they look younger than their age once you observe them closely they have a much more matureness about them mm -hmm. and with the hermit it's a low-key beauty something that is not very apparent but if you look at it long enough it will become apparent. Anyway, moving on to the oracle cards. We have the panther spirit. We have, uh, how do you pronounce this? Jirbara Daisy or is it Gurbara Daisy? It's either one of the two. And we have luck is on your side okay um so with the panther spirit i think panthers are native to um asian countries if i'm not sure india and china and africa i'm very sure they're native in africa so this person could be um to a certain extent dark-skinned you know maybe like we are brown skinned Indians are, Africans are like dark skinned so maybe they have like a dark skin but there's something I have to say about the panther which like goes hand in hand with the hermit so in the darkness a panther will not stand out because they blend in right but if you see a panther in the daylight and you're lucky enough to spot it and you see a panther running in the middle of a jungle or something and you see that black blur move it it's a sight to behold right so that is what it is like with them it is like oh my god i got to see this beautiful creature but it's not so apparent at the start because in the darkness you know they get camouflaged so easily so even these even this person in a crowd or something maybe you can miss them that easily but the minute they stand out or they come out they they look different and maybe they they get lost in a crowd easily because they're smaller built or they're leaner built. So like somebody standing in front of them can easily hide their whole frame or something. But the minute they come out, it is a sight to behold. Also panthers are again very light in their step. Like they can creep up on you like how they hunt their prey very easily. 
so they are not like very heavy or bulky in like the way they carry themselves or in their gait or in their walk they are very light and stealthy and also the panthers have these beautiful like yellow eyes so this person has very like i said before because of the curiosity and the tiredness or whatever these people have very beautiful eyes also the word uh reproachful is coming to my mind so maybe they have like a very they have very reproachful eyes i have to say very beautiful reproachful eyes this person could be natives of like india china or africa but that is just specific maybe for few of you coming to um the gerbera daisy or like the gerbera daisy i'm sorry i don't know how to pronounce it i'm going to just read the message from the book because from the message we can try and extract more information of like where this person is from to get a better idea of like what they look like so european miners first discovered gerbera daisies in south africa in 1884 so we have south africa also which is like it's not africa but it's still south africa when botanists started breeding breeding programs during the 19th century gerbera daisies became some of the most cherished flowers in the world because of the rainbow of vibrant color variations that become available egyptians felt the gerbera held the meaning of closeness to nature and devotion to the sun the celts believed gerbera daisies had the power to remove sorrow and stress gerbera daisies gerbera daisies of all colors especially yellow and pink emanate lightheartedness and happiness the white daisy holds the special meaning of purity and the innocent joy of childhood so like i said before they have a child like nest to them also the white one is about purity so this person may love wearing white also this person will have a pureness about their appearance i have to say and it also mentioned south africa it mentioned egypt so this person could also be egyptian and um celts i don't know where that is from but that is also there but yeah that is what we get from this flower so there is an innocent purity about the way they look you know i feel like maybe this person i'm just jumping here but i feel like maybe this person has not had like the best or uh, had like the same level of like the kind of childhood or the kind of interaction with other people as like you and i may have had so it's like when they come out into the spotlight they look different there is a different feel about them mm -hmm. and like i said before it's not apparent at the start because they can very easily be lost in a crowd but the minute they come center stage there is something very captivating about them is it because of their innocence it could be is it because of their purity it could be is it because you know they are new and they stand out or maybe because they're just so simple in a crowd of like complicated or overly done but whatever it is it makes them stand out and that is something beautiful and that is something you will notice about your soulmate and now moving on to luck is on your side um i think this is straightforward in the sense that compared to lots of people this person may have hit the jackpot when it comes to genes so like maybe they think it they are ordinary looking or something but like they may have got like the good parts of like their parents so like maybe from their mother they may have got the thick hair maybe they got the soulful eyes from their dad maybe they got the dressing sense also from their mom or from like their grandmother or something but when it came when it comes to their appearance they are lucky in the sense that they are born with certain good genes or something so they have like this good like they have they have hit the jackpot in certain aspects of their appearance so like other if it's a girl other girls would be like she's so lucky to have like this wavy beautiful long thick hair or like to have this gorgeous skin which is so even toned or like has such a wonderful color to it or something you know so like in that sense they have hit the jack jean jackpot 
Mm-hmm. And they are lucky in the way they look, especially compared to other people. Anyway, so that is what we have for this. Now we are going to conclude the reading with few of these chits just to get a better idea of like what your person looks like. So we three fell out. So I'm going to just take them. We have thin legs. So like I said, they don't. They have a slender frame. Baby hairs. So like they may have like baby hairs on their face. Even I have it still. And we have white thighs, which is funny, but it fell. So I'm gonna just use it. We have slendo, which also fell. And why is this so hard? We have expressive eyes. We have baby voice. So like I said, they have a childlike sense to them, childlike essence to them. God, this is taking so We have brown hair. So this could be specific for some of you, like this person may have like brown hair. We have thin arms, which came with thin legs. So this person is definitely not very bulky. We have shiny hair. I think this is like import. This this is an important aspect or a physical trait of people who are like, especially Indian, because like because of our like black hair in the sun, sometimes it appears shiny. It could also be Egyptian. This keeps on popping out, so I'm gonna just use it. We have sexy. So even if like, you know, they are innocent, they have a little sexiness to them, which maybe they don't see, but it does appear to you or it does become apparent to you. Anyway, pile two, those are all the messages I have for you. I hope it gave you some clarity on what your soulmate is gonna look like down the line when you meet them. Um, I hope it gave you some reassurance. I hope it gave you some clarity. And if it did do any of the above, please do consider giving this video a big thumbs up. Uh, sharing it with those who you think it may help. Commenting with what resonated in case you have already met your soulmate or even otherwise. And uh, subscribing to my channel because that would really help me. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye bye. Hi, so if you guys chose the third stone or this orange stone, then this is going to be your reading on what your soulmate looks like so we're gonna start off by getting an idea of their appearance through these tarot cards then we're gonna get more detail uh, through these oracle cards and then we're gonna end the reading with my famous homemade chits just to get little additional details about this person so we have the nine of cups all right then we have the devil then we have King of Swords, and then we have the Queen of Cups. Damn. Okay, so um, without hesitation, I'm gonna just say that this person is exceedingly beautiful. This person has hit the jackpot when it comes to looks and beauty and body and everything. This person is like. How beautiful this person is, it's extremely rare. This person is very, very beautiful. This is like somebody, maybe like when you see them, you feel like maybe you've conjured them from a fantasy or maybe they're not even real. That's how beautiful it is. Also with the nine of cups, I get the feeling like this is somebody, if you have been trying to manifest your ideal looking soulmate or something, there is a very good possibility like, 99% of your manifestation is going to appear in this person. So if you were like manifesting somebody with like 
if you're a woman and you're manifesting a guy and you're like i want that person to have blue eyes and curly hair and pale skin or whatever they're gonna have those features so that is like what you have in mind but damn this person is beautiful <laughs> and also it's like you know they they've hit like the jackpot when it comes to their genes like they've got the best of everything like maybe if they come from like a long line of family members then they got like all the best parts like if their mom had good hair they got the hair from their mom if their dad had the beautiful eyes they got the eyes from their dad if they their grandmother had like the perfect nose they got the nose if like it's a if it's a if it's a woman and 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 uh, the mom has a slender figure then they've inherited that if it's a guy and the dad has got like a very profound man figure whatever then they have inherited that but basically they have it like there are like i don't want to go around endorsing that you know there are perfect people and then there are people who are not perfect but this is somebody who comes pretty close to being like something you imagine or you see in movies or something you dream up or like you sketch like somebody who's who who appears not even like real that's how amazingly beautiful they are it reminds me of the scene in westworld in um was it season 1 or 2 i can't remember but basically logan delos goes to china for the demo of the opening of delos park and they send who do they send no not clementine they send angela who is basically portrayed by talula riley and in that scene her body her hair her lips her face she looks so perfect and they ask logan delos to like and they freeze everybody or like they are in a room full of he's in a room full of these people and he ask and they ask him to point out who is like who is a host and who's a human and he can't make it out and eventually they freeze everybody and only angela is standing and he's like oh shit that's you like oh my god if if it was up to me i would make you you would be my first choice as a host because of how perfect she is so like this is somebody who comes pretty close to that maybe it's like you know they look they are beautiful but then you know they know how to dress up or you know wear the dye their hair or style their hair in the more perfect way and do their eyes in a perfect way so it accentuates their already existing beauty and hence they appear even more beautiful than what they would have otherwise but basically nine of cups tells me that 99% of what you're manifesting in your soulmate that is what they're going they're going to have 99% of those physical traits you want them to have also it's like they have 99% of like the jackpot genes that you know the good parts of their family has come down to them with the devil i can only think of one thing like this person doesn't appear real or their beauty is so addictive that you have to keep on looking at them like for example um like not everybody has to agree with me but i find aishwarya rai as like somebody who is exceedingly beautiful now if you're watching a movie and like there's a scene and there are people and then she enters the scene you she you can't look at anybody else but her in the frame you know it's just she she dominates it because she's so beautiful it's not like she is a great actress or that she even has many dialogues or anything but she's just in the scene and instead of looking at the other actors you just want to look at her that's how it is with them like um and it it's it they're so beautiful that maybe they even attract haters like oh my god it's unfair how beautiful they are and they may attract all that nonsense and attract jealousy and stuff but that is how it is and they have this addictiveness like you know you want to google them or go to their facebook page or go to their instagram and stalk them the whole day long because of how amazing they look stalk like what they eat how they exercise like they are the kind of people everybody else wants to be like everybody wants to copy them everybody wants to be like them everybody wants to dress up like them everybody wants to speak like them that's the kind of feeling i get from the devil it's addictive and it's not healthy but they just are that beautiful so they draw you into them with the king of swords i get the feeling that um this person will have a very good build mhm mm this person will have a very good 
body type. Also, the king of swords is somebody who makes me think of uh, somebody who takes a lot of responsibility. So even though they they are beautiful, I can say that not all like. Like they do have a certain extent of vanity, but when it has to get down and get real, they have that as well. So they even have a bit of like a seriousness to them. Mm -hmm. To a certain extent, like, you know, you can have a conversation with them and they do have substance in them. But more to the point in their physical traits, um, with the big beard, I feel like maybe this person has a very good beard with the cloak and everything, I feel like this person, um, even though they're so beautiful and stuff, they have like this elegance. So it's like, you know, just because they have a good body doesn't mean they have to wear like those very short tops all the time and show their belly or the guy has to take off his shirt every now and then. Like they like to be covered and they like to be elegant because I get elegance from the king and queen because like they have a certain stand up, standard to live up to. And they have that responsibility and they have that elegance. So um, even if they are beautiful, you may catch them like wearing turtlenecks or, you know, wearing a coat or something like, I don't think they, they are the type of people who would expose a lot of skin. And I also feel like they are very confident in like the way they put themselves together. So like even in the clothes they choose, that's very specific like there's something exceedingly unique and something that stands out very evidently about them not just like the way they look but even the way they dress the way they conduct themselves the way they walk the way they just hold themselves and the way they present themselves and they take a lot of pride and responsibility in doing so mm -hmm. it's like um, I have to be like this in order to inspire others or like I know other people like to copy me so I have to dress up in a way that you know it's healthy for them like I don't want to give the false notion that you know it's okay like you know um, just because I know other people copy me doesn't mean I'm gonna wear a bikini top everywhere I go I have a responsibility towards these people so I should cover up I should take responsibility I should dress well dress elegantly and they don't just do this for other people, although it is a factor. They do this because they themselves have that internal need or want to like dress up in a certain way. And that way I feel is like, you know, cover up. Like they will be caught wearing dresses and frocks and, you know, um, shirts and pants and stuff. But not because they only have to do it to like show other people, but also because they like dressing that way. They have an inherent elegance or an inherent sophistication to them. With the Queen of Cups, I feel like if this is a woman, she's exceedingly beautiful. She has very beautiful long hair. She has a very grandeur royalness to her, the way she carries herself. I feel like maybe these people live in the spotlight. Like maybe, like I'm just jumping here, but maybe like these people have like a following on social media like some people just come on there and without much effort they get like two three thousand followers in like few weeks and then in a month or two months it's like 10k and then it's 50k and they didn't even have to take effort they just look so beautiful or like they dress up so well or they just have that they are born with those traits so this is like somebody like that and this is somebody who's effortless in their style in a way like the Queen of Cups is somebody who follows her own instinct very heavily. So she doesn't dress up for anybody. She doesn't copy anybody. She's very authentic. So this person is also very authentic in the way they dress and the way they conduct themselves. If it's a woman, she has very long, beautiful hair. She has beautiful features and she's also very warm. Also with the uh, cup and all, this is somebody who, you know, um eats healthy lives healthy, exercises on time, not maybe excessively, but like in a proper way. So it's like, you know, there's something very proper about their appearance, their life and even the way they conduct it. So people are naturally drawn to them. Like I wish I was more like this person. That's why people constantly want to copy them. But yeah, they did get it easy in a sense that they were born with like the good genes, but they didn't mess it up. They, they, they decided to take advantage of it and like make it better. 
and keep the good genes going by exercising well preserving their beauty eating healthy dressing up elegantly i don't know but maybe for some of you guys this could also be like somebody from like a well to do family or a loyal family or something you know maybe like they they come from an affluent family even if they don't they appear like they do you know and they have a certain stoicness and dignity about them so maybe they are a little bit intimidating also in like if you have to approach them but it's not because of like they have an attitude but it's just because they are so beautiful and they seem outwardly in that way mhm mm now we are going to look at your oracle cards to get any extra insight so we have white raven spirit and we have honey suckle and we have don't let pride get in your way so even like with the lion's mane and the hair this person and even this beard and all this person is going to have very long luscious beautiful hair i can say that off straight on top of my head like if it's a woman she could have like very thick beautiful wavy long hair like in my case when my hair when i'm trying to grow my hair the longer it gets the thinner it feels that's why i keep it at a certain length only because that way at least it appears little thicker but in that case they don't have to worry about all this because even when they grow it out it's beautiful and it's thick and it's luscious and it's long and it's like this gorgeous lion mane that they have but anyway coming to the white raven spirit the first thing that comes to my mind is that white ravens are exceedingly rare so it's like this person is like one in a million their beauty is so extraordinary that they are rare they are exceedingly rare in the world like when people see them they stand out in a crowd in a fraction of a second you don't have to give them a second look to notice their beauty even if you're scanning a room and they're just there your eyes will just gaze on them and then you'll just not need to scan anymore or even if you continue scanning you will ultimately come back to look at them cuz that's how beautiful and rare they are like they really do stand out also because of like all of this i feel like this person could have like pale skin so like in the previous two piles uh it appeared as so the people were like uh dark skin or like had a darker shade of skin like maybe some were latino some were african some were indians but here i feel like this person could be very um pale skin white skin mhm mm like this person could be very fair so even if like this even if your person is indian compared to the other indian skin tones this person could be very pale like i know this one girl in my school she is a parsi and her skin was white pale white like she stood out in the crowd that's how white she was so like compared to like even your own nationality whatever this person could be much more fairer compared to like other people so yeah i want to look up where white ravens are because that should just give us a little more insight because for the other two i did look it up so um i'm just going to google it These birds have been spotted in the ocean side area of the east coast of Vancouver Island. So like Canada, Vancouver and uh the ocean front. So maybe like this person maybe lives near a water body. Mhm. Mm like we see this blues also and plus we have like cup and cups. So maybe this person lives by a beach and even though the sun they remain continue to remain fair and not get tanned but also this person could be from canada mhm mm also because of like the raven spirit i feel like this person has a very like beautiful plumage like i know ravens don't have like that huge plumage or something but this person when they take flight and they're flying in the sky it's a sight to behold mhm mm now moving on to honey suckle i'm going to just read it from the book because that could help us extract some more info on like who this person is or like where they are from and by extension of that what they would look like so honeysuckle is named for its heavenly sweet perfume 
also known as woodbine this flowery vine's tenacity and clinging nature gave it the symbolic meaning of devoted affection in the language of flowers many plants have both a positive and negative meaning however the honeysuckle's associations are positive sweetness happiness bonds of love resilience and affection once established the honeysuckle can be relied upon to remain cons- to remain a constant fixture in the garden it is believed that if allowed to grow up around the entrance way the honeysuckle will protect the home and its inhabitants thus it also comes to symbolize domestic happiness so nothing is mentioned of like where this is but few words like heavenly sweet perfume so like i said this person is like the celestial heavenly quality about them um and they are addicted like you know sweet perfume also it's like you know these are the type of people you go home and have fantasies about you know um oh devoted affection it also means domestic happiness it associations all positive sweetness happiness bond, bonds of love resilience and affection so like this is somebody the minute you look at you feel affection you feel love towards them also jealousy because of like the devil card but basically if you have to fantasize about somebody you don't fantasize bad stuff right you always think of all the cool and kinky and sexy stuff so that's like the kind of people they are like they would be inhabiting a lot of other people's fantasies with the don't let pride get in your way um this is just something i feel that maybe this person like i told you they they are aware of their beauty they are aware of like their rarity they are aware of the fact that they stand out and their beauty is something rare so some may have like uh they may like they they are beautiful and they know it but like i said you know they take a lot of responsibility and though they are proud to a certain extent they don't let that go to their head like in a sense that you know they act snobbish or like far fetched or something but yeah they are beautiful and they are very aware of it and they they use it to their advantage so like i said because they know they have this responsibility they will not dress irresponsibly or um or do irresponsible things they are very very they are very sure of the way they want to conduct themselves moving forward and now we are going to just look at any extra details we can get looking from these homemade cards that i made okay so we have okay i'm going to just shuffle this once more because like the whole thing just fell why is this so hard I hate this part. So we have shapely lips. some three four fallen so i'm going to just pick those up so was it just one that fell oh god let it go we have heart shaped face i think this has come second time for a reading if i'm not mistaken we have chiseled features yeah then we have shiny hair again this has also come for the second time i think no i'm sure it has it came for pile 2 as well hair has become a very prominent we have instinctive i don't know why this came up because this is a pile of appearance but um the queen of cups is the most instinctive so we got a card about their personality as well 
we have thin eyebrows we have big eyes ah, just three more we have tall and we have thick hair and come on last one we have sharp features so we have chiseled and sharp features so those are all the messages i have for you pile three i hope it gave you some clarity on what your soulmate is going to look like down the line or in case you've already met your soulmate what they look like currently i hope it resonated i hope it made sense to you i hope it made you happy and if it, it did indeed do any of the above please do consider giving this video a big thumbs up uh, sharing it with those who you think it may help commenting commenting with what resonated what didn't and finally subscribing to my channel so that it helps me grow and i'll see you in my next video bye bye hi so if you guys chose the fourth the final stone this amber one then this is going to be your reading on what your soulmate looks like so we're going to start out with looking at these tarot cards to get an idea of the physical appearance then we're going to proceed to these oracle cards to get a little more insight and details like maybe where they are from and stuff to get better idea of like what they look like and then we're going to conclude the reading with my famous homemade chits to just get any extra details so um first we have the wool card um we have the ten of swords And we have the High Priestess and then we have the Two of Cups. Okay, so um, I have to say like I feel like with the Ten of Swords this person at the time of meeting them this person may be going through a transformation like um, maybe like their own personal glow up so what they look like when you meet them originally versus what they transform into over a period of time is going to be completely different so that is something i feel like you should keep in mind almost like letting an old version of them die out and a new one coming out so yeah there is that um i also feel like maybe they've been through a lot in life maybe seen parts of the world that other people have not and that is why they have to go through this transformation so with the amount of swords i also feel like maybe this person has certain like scars or something which is not like out in the open but as you get to know them they may like show it to you and it may like you may uncover it in layers over a period of time mm -hmm. also at the time of meeting them this person may appear very tired and exhausted but that is because they are transforming they are coming out of their cocoon and becoming like this other version of them with the world card i get the feeling like this person could be from a different country a different nationality than you so they have a very different appearance than you also with the world card i don't know why but i'm getting the feeling like maybe this person is like a mixture of different you know um cultures and nationalities themselves so like this person could have like an irish mom and an indonesian dad or like an african dad and a chinese mom or something like that but like they have a lot of mixtures so like there's this one girl whose videos i enjoy on youtube evan jewels and she's a mix of like some six different countries and different nationalities so there's filipino there is irish there's american i mean there's so many different and she lives in hawaii so it's very different but yet somehow she stands out and she's she is beautiful and she has her own look so like this person is very unique in the way they look like they are one they are like very different from other people you know um they have a mixture of like these different nationalities so 
um the word that's coming to my mind is like they are not like beautiful in the traditional sense like maybe with them you will have to like look to find the beauty to a certain extent but they do exude a certain level of like good looks and beauty just that they are very different from like the traditional norms of beauty that we otherwise see so in your first impression you may not find them that beautiful but as they go through this transformation and as they go through this glow up it will start to appear <coughs> i also feel like when they transform they'll start owning up to like these different nationalities and instead of like feeling bad or feeling like cheated that oh my god you know i'm so different like who has like a scottish dad and an indonesian mom or who has like a chinese mom and an african dad like who who has that but i do but instead of feeling bad about it as they transform they'll start to own it and when they start to own it and when they start to feel that confidence about their beauty they will be able to uh, emanate that and radiate that and once they do that other people will start seeing their beauty so instead of like going into a shell maybe they'll like start creating a youtube channel they'll put themselves out there and because they are doing that it's like you know they are actually like putting forth this idea of like you don't have to have the traditional thick lips or like fair skin and golden hair to be beautiful you can be dark skinned and have golden hair and have like thick lips and big eyes and still be beautiful you know so they have like they have like this very they have this amalgamation of different things put together and it is not ugly it's just that you don't expect that in traditional beauty standards so when you see them it's like very different so for some of you it could be like a breath of fresh air you know like how beautiful they are but like in a very different sense because it's not something you come across as very often so yes to a certain extent they are a rarity but it's not like the most apparent thing but when you see it you'll realize it you know also with the world card and the hair hair is becoming a very it has become a recurring thing in all the readers but readings but um this person is going to have very if it's a woman they're going to have very beautiful long wavy hair or at least if they didn't start it out they're going to grow it out so like if they started out having short hair or something over time they're going to grow their hair and make it beautiful and wavy and long and thick they're going to start taking really good care of themselves with the high priestess the words high standards always come to my mind so and in the sense that not because like you know because they've had this glow up and all suddenly it's like they think they are full of pride and they think they are so beautiful and everybody else is beneath them no what this means is that because they have started to own up and own their qualities and own their looks and own their body types and own their hair they have started to see the value in their own beauty they have started to see that beauty can be different it doesn't have to fit into that one mold you know and because they see it other people start to see it so it's like you know it's like what they're doing is they're just blocking out the haters by holding up their own standard by putting themselves up there but don't get me wrong they've had to work really hard to like come to this level you know eat well exercise well take pride in their looks take pride in their heritage take pride in their culture and their families in their nationalities and become the person they need to become so over time this person is also going to have like this low key like unassuming confidence about them but it's just something that helps them carry forward mhm mm also this person may be a little reserved and this person may may like dress down in the sense like may not have like a lot of showing off to do or something like they may cover up a lot and stuff or like they'll have like this elegance in the way they conduct themselves but this is after their little transformation their major transformation that happens mhm mm and then with the two of cups this gives me the feeling like this person once they come into being themselves and they start enjoying their beauty it will become very like at first it's like very different but over time it's something that you see 
and you realize and you start to appreciate over time like it starts filling 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 but also like i said you know they are beautiful not in the most traditional sense like as you would see like the those typical blonde beautiful women they have a different kind of beauty so it's like they have like the black and the white you know and and sometimes you may see this side sometimes you may see that side but both sides because they are your soulmate you're going to accept and enjoy and love both sides and i feel like they have the ability to balance both you know their old version and even their new version but it just it's like i it makes me think that they they can balance it out very well also this makes me think of like you know a good balance between their feminine and masculine side you know they have a very good grounding between their feminine and masculine side because this makes me think of feminine this makes me think of masculine also this makes me think of purity and this makes me think of like a little bit of an addictive thing so like to a certain extent this person once you know you get to know them or you interact with them more and and you see their beauty it may be a little bit like it's pure because like it's not their fault that they got all these genes and they were like a mixture of all these heritages and cultures but because it's so different it could be something that you want to look at more frequently or more often and in that sense it could be a little bit addictive you know like scrolling through their social media and stuff but overall i think they have very good beauty they have very good balance and they they stand out in the crowd that's for sure mhm mm also i feel like this person when they finish this transformation they'll have a very well built body because the world card has a very nice body and so does the high priestess but the high priestess is something that she's worked upon to develop but this tells me like you know very good balance so i feel like maybe this person could be very proportionate also you know like have very good proportions like their torso their legs their hands and everything very well balanced in that sense also this makes me think like you know they they are healthy in the way they eat and stuff mhm mm but yeah the world card makes me think of like somebody who's from a different country but also a mixture of different cultures put together the world card could also mean you know a culmination of your desire so if you have some specific physical attributes or aspects you want in your person there is a possibility like this person may be carrying few of those as well but that is specific to you because only you know what you want in your person mhm mm but yeah now moving on to the oracle cards we're going to get just some more insights so we have the snake spirit time to heal which i think goes with the 10 of swords then we have hydrangea and then we have time to breathe out so the snake spirit i think just concurs very well with the 10 of swords like at the time of meeting them they are shedding their old skin and like coming into their new skin and um and like i said you know snakes are not like the most traditionally beautiful animals like some people may find snakes beautiful some people find snakes terrifying so it's like not everybody is going to find their beauty alluring but many of them will you know it is very rare to see a snake out in the wild so there is something very rare about them but also it it may not be something that resonates or it's something that is found attractive to everybody also with the snake spirit you know the scales and stuff this just makes me think like you know at the time of meeting you they may have like scaly skin like you know they may look like they've been neglecting the way they look but after they have this transformation they're going to be a whole different version you know fresh skin fresh looks like this glow up that nobody thought they could pull off but they did mhm mm also with the snake i also get the feeling of slithery and seamlessness so um i get the feeling like you know they could be very flexible in the way they move or like in the way they exercise and stuff or maybe because they exercise a lot they become flexible so they may be very they no i don't want to use the word athletic 
but they have like the bone structure where you know it appears like you know they are very flexible like how and and even you know to a certain extent like you know um i don't want to use the word fragile but like you know the way you see ballerinas you know they they are tiny but like when they dance they do it with so much grace and the way they move and the way they move their hands and legs like you never thought you could bend your body in that way but when you look at a ballet dancer doing it it appears so that's like how it looks with them like you would never imagine your body contorting or moving in those shapes but when you look at them it's like they can they can pull it off you know so there is that maybe some of them are even ballet dancers i don't know just saying the next one is hydrangea so i'm just going to look at the meaning of it from the book because that would help us extract some more information on like where they come from or any extra information that we can get that would give us more insight on like what your person looks like so through the victorians though the victorians felt the shadow the showy hydrangea plant to be a symbol of boastful vanity in japan where the flower originated originated the lovely hydrangea was associated with asking for understanding for one's mistakes and being thankful for forgiveness today the profuse blossoms are symbolic of heartfelt emotions particularly gratitude when the blooms are cut and shed more grow in their place so jap we have they have originated in japan so maybe this person could be could have japanese somewhere in their mix of things in their mix of heritages um also um like i said before when you know they have this glow up they are very well aware of like you know what they used to look like versus what they look like now so it's not like they have a lot of vanity or pride about it but they do hold themselves up like you know i'm no longer going to be treated badly because i don't look good anymore like maybe in the past when they were not that great looking you know they were overshadowed or like looked down upon by their peers and friends or whatever not selected as like the dance partner first in a play or something but now they are aware of like their good looks so they will not want to settle for something that they don't believe they deserve so there is that they have that inherent confidence or that awareness that i have gone through this glow up and i do look good now mhm mm so there is that but it's never like in a mean or like in a way that exudes a lot of pride or vanity they are just aware because they've probably undergone this bad treatment for so long that now when they've transformed they don't want to settle for less you know so there is that and then with um take time to breathe out i feel like once like i told you you know they have this exhausted appearance at the start but once they have this glow up it will be like i can breathe out i can be myself i can take a breath of fresh air so i think once they are done they look less tired they look more rested they look more refreshed and more fresh that is the feeling i'm getting like you know there will be this freshness about their appearance their dark circles will be less their hair will be more bouncy their body will be more oh uh, light the gait or their steps will be more easy and they'll feel easy like you know they'll go with the wind like how the hydrangeas they just flow with the wind so there is going to be that but definitely there's this blossoming that's happening slowly and steadily and they are quietly blossoming and coming into being this beautiful version of them that they need to be and being your soulmate that is something you're going to notice first you know from like what they used to look like versus what they've become and be happy and be grateful and actually be very supportive of their glow up so that is everything i have in terms of cards now we are going to just end the reading by looking at these homemade chits to get any extra information about any extra details about what your person looks like so we have um athletic body i think i said something like that i said not athletic but somebody who is proportionate we have light eyes so they may have like light color eyes like 
maybe like blue or grey or something. In my country, in the lightest you can go to is grey. We don't have people with blue or green or those kind of eyes, unfortunately. We have droopy lips. Some people find that enduring, so I don't know. We have deep dimples. I think this came for pile one, if I'm not mistaken. Yep. And then... We have chest hair, so if it's a guy, they may have like prominent chest hair. We have velvet voice. I think voice has come first time in any pile. We have knock knees, so some people may have a little bit of a, like a knock knee thing. That's okay when I have it, so. We have thin lips. We have crow's feet eyes. I think George Clooney has this. You know those lines around your eyes when you smile, those creaky type of lines. I think that is also enduring. And that just shows wisdom or just shows like, it shows a little bit of tiredness, but it's not like an ugly thing. I find it, in fact, I find it really enduring. Damn, okay, I'm gonna just take all these now. We have sharp body. Uh, we have clean fingers. So like, I don't think they believe in putting all those glitter nails or whatever. And like, it was very fancy long type of nails. And then we have small feet. This is quite specific, but yeah, maybe they have a, like a tiny shoe size like the way I do. So yeah. Pile 4, that is everything I have for you in terms of what your soulmate will look like down the line. I hope it gave you some clarity. I hope it gave you reassurance. I hope it made you happy knowing what they would look like. If it did indeed do any of the above, please do consider liking this video, giving it a big thumbs up, sharing it with those who you think it may help, commenting with what resonated, what didn't, especially if you already have met this person and all this resonated. And finally, subscribing to my channel because that would really help me. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.